Hello, let us discuss the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix is used to evaluate the performance of binary classification model. This is a matrix of the model's predicted class versus the actual class. It is called confusion matrix since it reveals how confused a model is between two classes. Suppose we have a binary classification data of the weather to predict if it is rainy or sunny. We have many machine learning algorithms to predict uh, like logistic, KNN, random, forest, etc. But how do we know which algorithm fits our data the best? This is why we move to confusion matrix. First, the data is split into training and testing set. A confusion matrix summarizes how each method performs on the testing set. There are four parameters of the, uh, of the confusion matrix. True positive, true negative, false positive and false negative. The, the rows of the confusion matrix corresponds to what the machine learning algorithm predicts and the column corresponds to the actual truth. The main diagonal of the matrix that is the true positive and true negative is the case where the model is correct and the red box indicates the messed up data. If the true positive and the true negative values are more for a predicted algorithm then it's obvious that the algorithm suits our data well. But sometimes, but sometimes some confusion matrices for some algorithm might look similar and make it difficult for us to choose which algorithm to use. We have a solution for that. We can make sophisticated matrices like sensitivity, specificity, ROC and AOC. For now, let us see how to implement the confusion matrix in R. To implement confusion matrix in R, uh, we load the packages caret and E17, E1071. Then let us assume the expected and the predicted value, which is converted to factor. We convert it to factor so that the values are in levels. Okay, then we create a confusion matrix using the function confusion matrix of, where data corresponds to the predicted value and um, reference corresponds to the actual or the uh, expected value. So the confusion matrix as we can see is created, um, so that's all, thank you.